here with head women's soccer coach Simon Ridioff following a 2-1 overtime win over Fairleigh Dickinson. Coach, just some general thoughts on tonight's game. It's a good starting point. After Saturday, I thought we played extremely poorly um, and we rebounded. We didn't play great tonight, uh, but we, we showed signs of what we are capable of. And for 80 minutes, I, I was quite comfortable with the, the game. I thought we weren't going to lose this game and then we scored and then we had a letdown after after that goal and allowed a, a team who are opportunistic to get a chance and, and they put it away. Uh, it's a valuable lesson for us that we can't afford to have two or three minute breaks after after key points of the game and we talk about it all the time. Uh, so so that that's the the one one thing we take away and you know Again, we did well in overtime. We, we rebounded the momentum came back on our side, which is a testament to this attitude, the attitude of this team. So the negative is we let ourselves down after going one nothing up. The positive is after going after get them tying it, most teams would kind of collapse, and we didn't. And uh, that's a sign of a good team, and that's a sign of sign of a team who know how to grind out a win. So happy with that. Now after uh, that first goal. We saw Jill Mahalan just completely take on two defenders herself and team up with Desmond. Can you talk about their chemistry so far and how, how great they are? Yeah, we, we float in different ideas about finding ways to give them better opportunities. Uh, they're both grinders. Uh, they both are very key to, to how Hofstra plays and they set the tone. And if they continue to work as hard as they will, as hard as they have done today, then, then Hofstra's in a good start sign for moving forward in the CAAs. We still want more from Desmond, we still want more from Jill. Uh, but they're, they're the starting cast right now and the, the rest of the team have to step up and, and support them in, in a better better situations and, and we're getting there. You saw signs of that today, but uh, we still need to do a better job supporting Desi and uh, Jill. You put uh, Maya Watkins and Sabrina Barton into starting roles. What did you think of their uh, first effort as starting players today? Well, again, Maya's playing an un unfamiliar position and it's due to some injury situations and she's uh, she was de designated to mark their best player and she did it. Uh, number 10 is a very good player for FDU and uh, for, for most of the game, Maya was focused enough to, to shut her down. There was a couple of times where she let her drift away, but you're talking about a freshman playing an unfamiliar position against a, a, a veteran international player. These things are going to happen. So Maya, I've got to give her credit. She she stuck to the task and did a fantastic job. Sabrina, you know, she's been working hard uh, all this year. She's been given a couple opportunities, and we've we've kind of kept on a short leash. To be fair, and it, it's probably been a little bit unfair to to Sabrina, but she came in today and she worked her socks off and she, she's given us a lot to think about moving forward. She did a fantastic job for us, uh, almost scored, she hit the pipe and uh, you know, it, it's a good sign that we're getting something from one of our other forwards and hopefully we can get more from the collective people who play those positions. The, uh, you had six corner kicks today, you said earlier in the week that you guys wanted to try to improve in that. The last one was the game winner. Did you see any improvement as far as the corner kicks and how you execute them? Yeah, um, the service actually was very good today. There was no inconsistent services. Uh, we called a couple of players and they, they found where, where the ball needed to be. And uh, then it just becomes a matter of timing. And that takes a little bit of time. Uh, you know, when you go from an inconsistent service where you don't know where the ball is and then all of a sudden it's where it's supposed to be, it takes forwards or players to, to recognise that time and then and Maddie Anderson just missed one just before uh, she was just off with the time and then this time she found a way. Uh, it's a good sign moving forward if we can continue in that vein. Uh, I think we'll see a, a couple more more opportunities from set piece situations. So after this one you said this is kind of the start of something good. What are the things you want to work on, especially with the long road trip ahead? Well, again, we've got we've got to continue working on our final third decisions. Um, our movement still needs improving. We need more stability from all of our forward line. Um, and ultimately, this team is going to win games by keeping clean sheets. We've got to get back to doing that. And I thought, again, for 82 minutes, our back line did a fantastic job. They switched off, and 
at this level, once you switch off, it's gonna it's gonna bite you, and it did today. You know, for, for most of the game, they did a fantastic job of defending and, and nullified anything that FDU could do. They limited them to 30 yard shots, which we'll take, and it was just a matter of uh, if we could just kill the game, but we couldn't. And that's something we'll have to focus on uh, moving forward with Fordham on Sunday. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Yeah, thanks.